today we're going to do uh, a way of transfer printing um, using magazine pages and you can transfer onto loads of different surfaces. One of the surfaces I'm going to use today is a pre-prepared painting so it will become a mixed media piece. This is just some wax crayon with some watercolour over the top of it but I'll talk about that in a little while. And this is, um, it looks like a fancy jar but it was actually a candle that somebody had given me and I saved the jar and I'm going to transfer a pattern onto that so I've got a nice pattern on my jar later. So um, what I've done is I've already pre-prepared one here, a sheet here, which I'm going to show you how to do in a moment. Um, but while I'm getting the other sheet ready, I'm going to um, give you an idea of how I got to this stage, so that that one can be getting written while I do the next stage. Okay. So I, as you can see, I've ripped some pages out of magazines. I've got some cool images uh, that I quite like, and that one's I love that texture. So I'm going to use that one probably because I'm already quite taken with the spots. And um, but hopefully all of you will have access to some magazines, even the free ones that you see outside of the shops and things. So this one, I'm going to cut it down to size. Um, I've gone over it with clear tape um, and I'm going to just soak this in water. Um, so you're going to have to forgive me while I get this ready. Um, so just the area where I want to have the print, I'm cutting around there. And there. So I've got that ready and I'm going to plonk that into my tray of water that I've got standing by. This is a really low tech um, technique. So. How did I get to this stage and what am I going to do? So this is my magazine page, the one that I said I'd use, because um, I quite like the idea of having these spots on that jar. So what I did was, I've got my magazine, it's a little bit damp on the table from my wet fingers, but never mind, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, make sure you know where the end of your tape is before you start. And what I do to start off with is I, tape it to the table because it will start curling so take it to the table there and at the bottom of the image I slide my fingers along so you're not getting the wrinkles and bumps so that's where you start and then you're going to go quickly just running your finger along and cut and keep going so ever so slightly overlapping the next piece of tape on the tape that you've already put on the page. Um, and that's really important um, because we're trying to create a seal on the magazine page. So you're going across each layer is just ever so slightly overlapping. So onto the table, run your finger along. There's a little wrinkle there, but if you run your finger over it, it, it just sort of smooth it out. So make sure your wrinkles come out. Quite straightforward. That's the image all covered with stri strips of tape going that way. Now we're going to go that way and it's really important to do it going the other way as well. And I'll, I'll show you why. That will become um, more obvious when I take my piece out of the water in a moment. Um, it does take a moment to soak, which is why I'm soaking that while I'm doing this. And then I'm going to go across there one more time. You can be a little bit less um, concerned about them all overlapping now. You just, it's just to make sure that nothing lifts away, so just to quick secure one. I can keep 
go and doing that for a while, but uh, you don't need to. Um, I'm going to fold the end over so I know where the end of my tape is next time I come to use it when I do these. Okay, so peel it off the table and that is thoroughly covered with the tape. And uh, this is a print by Bridget Riley, it's called Pause from 1964 for those of you who are interested. It's very nice. I will probably use this for more than one piece. I might use it for two pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm cutting it out at the moment. So Bridget Riley, just for those who might be interested, was a pop artist in the 1960s. I believe she was a British pop artist. But I may be wrong. Um, so I'm going to decide how this is going to work. So I'm going to put this on my candle jar, so I'm probably going to use about that much. You can, fold, you can do all sorts of to it now, you're not going to do any damage to it, so I can see the line that I want to cut along. Um, there you go. And that, when it's all finished, is going to stick on there. Um, you can put it in face down or you can put it that way up, however you want, it doesn't matter. But I'll put that little strip in as well, you never know, it might come in handy. Um, so this one's been soaking for quite a while now. Um, so I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to get just a green kitchen, so this is quite an old one. And I'm going to just rub the paper away. It does make a bit of a mess, but that's the fun of art. Um, and you can see it just kind of wipes the paper away, but as it's wiping the paper away, something kind of magical happens. Okay. Turn it round. If you rub too hard, it's actually going to rub the print off the tape as well. So all I'm trying to do at the moment is just rub the paper backing away, not the print. So I'm not pressing, putting too much pressure on this green cloth. Um, just enough to lift. And then you can wipe that into there. Look. Now you can't quite see what's gone on there yet. However, a little bit of kitchen towel to clean my surface. Um, and you can see, now if you see it on the white background, you can see the print is showing up. And I can put that onto there, or I could put it on to, I don't think it's going to work on that lid very well, but I think it could look quite nice on there. So, um, I've rubbed a little bit too hard on the jewels, which was the advert that I'd ripped out. But that's okay, because that's going to create a little window so you can see the picture, the image through it. So, I'm going to get my glue stick. This is pretty much dried out anyway, really quickly. Um, it's quite sticky, but it's not going to be sticky enough. It sticks to the hand. But it's not going to be sticky enough to stay on the page. So I just use a little bit of my blue stick. Go around like that. interesting mixed media. Now you could do other things with that, so perhaps one of my spotty pieces would look quite good on that piece as well. So let's see if I can add that to. Yeah, perfect. That's what I wanted. 
And I actually I could look quite nice there or you know, here or even hmm, maybe that would look quite nice. And what I might do, because that's how I'm inclined, I might even get a, a needle and thread and stitch through it so it looks stitched on. I think that would look quite cool. Maybe use some yarn or something like that. But uh, there you go. Yep, that's just adding a different texture to my piece. So that's my mixed media technique. Um, so I'd used wax crayon, then I'd used some watercolours over the top, and now I've used my transfer printing. So back to this. Let me turn up a little bit because it's not really soaking. get it close with the camera so you can see how much of the paper is gone. There's no paper left on the back of this, it's just the print. Um, now I could rub harder and that will make the print much much lighter, which is kind of what I've done on that one. Um, but I think that's just perfect for that and that will make that jar look kind of you don't have to stop there, you could use definitely print out your, your name and stick that onto things. You could do anything, as long as it's printed, it's actually better on, on, the, on sort of, uh, magazine pages. But I have seen it work really effectively just on a photocopy print as well. So, have a go, it's really easy, there's my jar. It's got just enough sticky on it for it to to stick down I probably well you know what you could do of course you could those of you who are clever enough would have already thought Miss Sarah well, why don't you just use some tape well yes it would be a sensible thing to do yeah you could just use a little bit of tape and tape it on and it's exactly the same texture, so it doesn't show up. And um, you can trim your ends off. There you go. And I could do that and go all the way around with it. So, and then I could hide my sweet suit for my family, which is uh, this was our sweetie jar. But it's uh, yeah. There you go. That's what I do with clear tape and a magazine. Have fun.